All right, now in this video, I'm going to talk about SharePoint. And uh, there's a reason why I'm talking about it before Exchange, which the Exchange one's going to be a little bit longer, is because a lot of people don't even know what SharePoint is. And if you're going to buy the full Office 365, you get SharePoint in OneDrive. And a lot of people, all they use is the Office products in the Exchange. So you're kind of overbuying, you know? And I thought maybe I'll ex try to explain what SharePoint is for those that are interested. Um, because it does come with it and it is kind of cool, but there's some limitations on what you can do with it. And I want everybody to know the expectations, I guess, before they purchase it. So what SharePoint is, it, to say it simply, is it's basically a file server in the sky. So it's kind of like your network server that you have in your office, or it's equal to like Dropbox, but it's a little different. But it's basically file sharing. It's a document library and you can do a lot with SharePoint. I mean, it is pretty robust. And if you have a very small company, like I'm talking small, under 10 people, whatever you're doing right now for document sharing, you know, if you want to replace it with SharePoint, it's easy to go into SharePoint and create a folder and make subfolders and make, you know, the things that you want and then upload your data. But the problem is, is that people are used to on the desktop you know, in their Outlook or in their uh, Windows uh, files is to just go see the folders and see their files and attach it in Outlook. And with SharePoint, you don't get that. It's 100% cloud. So if you go and put all these, you know, the data files in SharePoint, you just can't in Outlook go attach a file and then your SharePoint doesn't pull up. Uh, you know, there is some synchronizing tools that you can use to make it a little better of an experience, but, you know, that's one of the downfalls but some of the the positive parts of sharepoint is that a lot of my clients that do use it they really like is that you can co-author documents and that's kind of nice and there's a lot of plugins and add-ins and you know a lot of things that bigger businesses use and they actually have like a intranet site and an extra you know external site and i mean it's pretty cool what you can do if you really put in the time but a lot of folks that are just like small companies, they don't understand it. They don't want to change the file sharing that they have. And a lot of times, if you've got really old documents on your server, like from 10 years ago, sometimes those files even have a struggle on SharePoint getting uploaded correctly. And uh, the two synchronizing tools, so you could use it from your desktop. There's one, it's a third party app that I've tested and it works pretty nice. It's called uh, Harmon.ie, and uh, I think, you know, they have some free options, and then you can buy and get some more, you know, some more uh, options if you purchase it. The other one is to try the SharePoint syncing tool, and uh, in all the years I've been working with SharePoint, I haven't had the best experience with the syncing tools. <laughs> That's my technical point of view. So when clients ask me about it, I pretty much say I don't support it. And I know that really is horrible to hear, but the last thing I want to do is send a client down a path of let's set it all up and then their expectations aren't met at the end because one thing they thought would happen isn't going to because it won't do it. So I always tell folks before you get into it too deep, you know, you might want to um, think about that and what your current structure is for uh, file sharing right now because it's mostly for internal. And um, it also uses the OneDrive somehow included in there. I've, I've noticed that SharePoint and OneDrive kind of play together a lot. So we'll talk about OneDrive in the next video after exchange. But I also wanted to let you know that there's a fella I interviewed on my podcast. His name is Robert Crane. And he has just a ton of free information out there about SharePoint. Uh, and a lot of videos too that you can uh, watch and learn and follow along. And he does a really good job. So I'll put the links um, underneath this video if you want to check out his work. And he's also available for contract work, which I don't have a lot of people I refer work to. But if you are, you know, seriously looking for a kind of a, you know, by the hour kind of SharePoint person, he is available by the hour. And he doesn't have huge quotes and expensive, you know, project, you know. You just, let's say you want to do as much as you want to, and then you want to hire in him to finish up, he's available for that. All right, so I think that might be it. Uh, a lot of people also, before I close, think that once they get the SharePoint, <laughs> that it's just magically set up, and it's not. When you first click on your SharePoint uh, 
in, in on the online browser, it literally is empty kind of. You have to go and start populating stuff. And if you don't know what you're doing, you know, you can get technically, uh, you know, go out and try stuff because you're not going to really break anything. But, you know, you do kind of have to learn it a little bit. And I like telling folks that. Okay, next video is exchange.